delighted to represent the Postal Service as we present the latest additions to our annual series of love stamps. The Postal Service issued its first love stamp 50 years ago in 1973, and over the years they have proven to be some of our most popular releases with stamp collectors and the American public alike. This year we have two designs, one featuring a kitten and the other a puppy. Today, more than two-thirds of all American households have a cat or dog, and that number keeps growing every year. So I have a feeling these may be some of our most popular stamps ever. Art director Ethel Kessler designed the stamps with original art by Chris Buzelli, who describes his style as a mix of realism and fantasy. Just pencil on paper, um, and then transferred it to, to actual wooden board, and then I just use oil paints. I've oil painted since I was a little kid with my grandpa, so I'm used to oil paints. You know, I sat down and I, I, I scribbled out a bunch of ideas. Then I sent them out to, to the art director, Ethel, and we went back and forth for months. I want the love stamp itself, the visual of it, to emote so that when you look at it, you feel love. And it's hard to do. I mean, it doesn't always work, but you can always picture what you're talking about. It doesn't mean that you feel it from the image. There's just so many different kinds of love, and I, I guess I just wanted to make sure we were touching that, touching all the different kinds of love. At the Postal Service, we understand Mel has a unique ability to show others that we care, even when we are miles apart. And the right stamp adds the perfect touch to our sentiments. While our love stamps are released early in the year, in time for Valentine's Day, they can be used to deliver love for any reason in any season. Our love stamps have also dressed up billions of birthday greetings, wedding invitations, birth announcements, and all of the other celebrations and milestones we share with our loved ones. We are pleased to present the 2023 Love Forever Stamps. This is Daisy, Daisy May. She came with the name. <laughs> and yeah, she, she was found somewhere down in, uh, down in Texas. And then a shelter brought her up here. And we, uh, we scooped her up. They have an awe factor. And you look at them and you go, oh, oh, they're so cute. So once we had puppy, we knew we had to have kitty because not everybody is a dog person. Like I'm used to more like magazines and newspapers and posters. It, it was it was a little bit different knowing that it was going to be this tiny. It is so common that when I call someone who I've never worked with before and say I have a really tiny project for you to work on, they're like, ooh, a tiny project. I really want a big project. This is a really tiny project. Um, and then I tell them what it is and they go, I've wanted to do that my whole career. This idea of a postage stamp and the art of the stamp. And even though it's very, very small, it goes all over the world. I became an illustrator because of my grandpa probably. We used to paint together on the weekends, even though he wasn't a painter, he was a television repairman. So I'm thinking about him and Sadly, he passed away, but it would have been exciting. He would have been so excited to, to see the stamp come out. It'll be exciting to really see it in, in, out in the wild and people using it and, and to go to the post office and, and tell, the, tell the postman, that's my stamp behind there. I can't wait to say that. They're available now at your post office and at USPS.com.